Jade from Boho Bookworm. Welcome back to my channel. I am out on a beautiful forest walk. I have a rare day all to myself. So I just thought, why not start a new audiobook, be out in the woods, get those kilometers in. I've got a Fitbit now, so I can just kind of do some steps. I'm playing this thing that you can do on Fitbit called like a bingo challenge. So you have to like hit all these tiles and stuff and I am going to win it. So I am busy listening to a book called The Boyfriend by Michelle Francis, which is an audio book that I just randomly stumbled across when I was perusing Audible, looking for my next read. As you may know, I have been in such a bad reading slump lately. Just no book seems to be enthralling me, exciting me. I can't seem to keep my concentration with books. So I don't know, I just need, I saw this premise and I thought, this is it. This is the book that I need in my life right now to just get me back on track. It is a book about this girl. I've forgotten her name, Amy, I think her name is. And she is recovering from this like amnesia thing. She had an accident, she hit her head and she can't remember the last like six months of her life. So she does not remember the fact that she now has a boyfriend called Jack and he's a doctor. So she just kind of has to be with him and get on with it. But as her memory starts slowly trickling back, she realizes that actually she made up this boyfriend to her friend so that they'd like stop asking her questions or something. And so like, who is this guy if he's not real? Because she vividly remembers making up his name, making up this whole story about how they met. But I mean, the premise sounds brilliant and I'm enjoying it, but I'm just, I don't know what is wrong with me. I just seem to be in this weird slump where I just can't seem to concentrate. But I've got today and I'm just going to try and smash it out and get over this slump. I've got a puzzle, just a 500 piece puzzle that I'm going to try and attempt. So I'll get home, do that, listen to more of this book. I'm trying to read the whole book in just one day. <sighs> I'm hoping if I just start reading again, start reviewing, start bloody getting back into like boho bookwormness, that things will get better for me. So that's the plan. What do you think of my new nails? <laughs> oh, they were really cute. I've never had matte nails before. As I have been for a very long time now, I am also reading Confessions of a 40 Something Fuck Up by Alexandra Potter. I do hopefully plan on also finishing this book today. So after this walk, I'm gonna go to the shops, get some salmon, some broccoli. I'm having a really nice healthy day. I am going to read a little bit of that, do my puzzle, listen to this book called The Boyfriend by Michelle Francis and just get back into a bookish kind of state of mind like I normally am. I just seem to be in a bit of a funky headspace. I don't remember the last time I have read so little in my life. This needs to change. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello everyone. I am just getting ready for the evening. So I'm doing some makeup and thought I would chat to you about the book that I finished yesterday. Yes, I finished it. I read a book in 24 hours and I could not be more thrilled. The Boyfriend by Michelle Francis is just what I needed to just get me back on track. I won't do my full review now because I do want to wait and give that at the end of the month when I do my March wrap up. But what I can say is that if you have seen that TV show on Netflix, The Tinder Swindler, and you enjoyed it, then I reckon that this is a book that you will really like. Like I have seen a couple of reviews where people have said, oh yeah, it was just a bit silly and a bit far-fetched and stuff. And maybe before I'd seen The Tinder Swindler, I would have thought the same thing. But because I have seen it, and what's his name, Simon Lviv, or was it Sh Shimon Hayuth or whatever his real name is, <sighs> who knows at this point, I, I just feel like he has really enlightened us with realising the kind of stuff that is possible with fraud. So I did finish it. It was a good book. I gave it a solid four out of five stars, but I will leave my full review for the end of the month. Right after finishing it, I went on to Audible and I bought two new books because I just can't help myself. And that was The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. And also, which was the other one I bought? The Interview by, mm, I've forgotten the author. I think it's an initialed author's name, but this book, has been getting raving reviews lately. Emma from Drinking On My Shelf really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to both of them. I've kind of gone completely off course of what books I said I would read in March. 
but that's fine because we all know I'm a mood reader and I'll just read whatever I feel like at the time, regardless of what I say otherwise. I'm putting on some MAC concealer for these baggy bags under my eyes. Something has happened to me though that I'm quite excited to share with you. I'm working with Brooke, who has a YouTube channel here by the Brooke, and I am creating a cover for my latest novel that I'm currently writing. And because I've sent across all these different like little details to her about how I want this cover to be, or like some ideas and stuff, it's made me really inspired to pick the the manuscript back up because it's not finished yet it's far from it it's going to be a series so i started reading a couple of the pages like the final pages that i'd done and it is it, like you know it it's weird getting back into that kind of mindset of this book again but i think i'm ready and so today i am going to read a little bit i'm going to write a little bit just try to get back into that vibe while the cover is being made I feel like now that I've read a full book again, hopefully my reading slump is over, I'm going to start writing something again, maybe I'm just getting back to me, which I have been missing. So let's see how it goes. <coughs> Do you just hate those outfits where you need a boyfriend or a roommate to zip you up? I can't do it. <laughs> Hello, I am just out in the sun reading Confessions of a 40 something fuck up, still reading it, but I am almost done, I've only got that much left to go. It's been a little while since I've filmed a video, because uh, I don't know if some of you saw one of my previous videos, which I've since removed from the internet, but um, yeah, I just had a, a rough time for a little while, um, and I'm trying really hard to work through that in my own way. Um, I'm quite grateful that spring is here and the sun is out, the temperature's risen. I think vitamin D can only help in situations like this. I'm also going for my vitamin D jabs, which are so painful. I can't actually believe how painful they are, but I'm hoping that they pick up my mood and just assist with helping me through all the crap in life. Um, the book is good really really loving it. I'm going to try my best to finish it today. I know I say that all the time but today with just such a little bit left and a massive craving to just go to the shops and buy a new book which I'm not letting myself do until I actually finish it. I think today it might be the day. I rearranged my whole bedroom so it's got like a whole new look to it and I'm just it was so nice like I wear my Fitbit to sleep and it recorded my sleep last night and I don't know if it's like the better feng shui or whatever it is in the room but I had such a good night's sleep. It's the first thing and the first time my watch has recorded a good night's sleep for me. Normally it tells me it's poor or fair. So the score was really good. It was like 86 or something. And it's just, the whole room just has this sense of calm about it now. Like I've got all my plants there, the windows open. It's just a lot more spacious and kind of airy. So I want to get home after work and just cozy up with some tea and read my book and for now just in my lunch break at work being in the sun next to the lake it's beautiful so that is a little update personal stuff as I said working through it um, 
I know I said I was done for a while and I did take a little time out. Um, but as always, you know, books and writing and YouTube and all that stuff, it's stuff that makes me really happy. So I can't push that away. I'm just going to bounce back like I always do. This is going to make me feel sick, I know it. <laughs> Please don't make me. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> what even... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never felt pain like that in my life. <laughs> mm. It's the next day. Did I finish this book? No, I didn't. But I will do it today in my lunch break, I promise. And if I have time, I will even go and buy a book after I finish this. I've just got that left. I'm on page 455. So I'm busy reading this physically and I'm listening to the interview by CM Ewan, which I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit slightly boring for me. Um, there's a whole different kind of storyline to it that I wasn't really expecting about the main character's husband who was supposedly killed in this plane accident and turned out that he's missing and kind of still alive and there's this whole other drama going on with it and it's just a bit predictable like I knew pretty much straight away who the who the baddie was with this book so I don't know if I was quite as enamored with it as I uh, have heard other people talk about this book seem to be but I'm enamored with this one and right at the back I have seen it there's a little snippet of a different book that she's written. One Good Thing by Alexandra Potter and also there is going to be two other books in this series which is considered to be the new Bridget Jones so very much looking forward to it. Anyway I'm gonna stop nattering and enjoy this gorgeous sunlight and finish this book. I must say that it is quite an up and downy book. It's there's just there's so many like fun happy positive parts but then there's also you know the real stuff in life like her father gets into a car accident and stuff and it's it's difficult to read especially when I've been put into a bit of a bad headspace the last couple of days but yeah I overall I am enjoying it and also I must say that I do still just wish that there was more elements of her podcast because she starts this podcast, which is hardly mentioned in the book at all, really, but you, you get little tiny snippets of seeing or her realising that her podcast is growing and growing and growing. But I, I just want more of that podcast element to this book. I think it would really make it shine.
Happy Friday. I have finally finished Confessions of a 40-something fuck-up. Took me long enough. However, oh, what a book. What a sassy, endearing, beautiful, fun, heartwarming, heartbreaking, hilarious, devastating, real, emotional, raw book. Loved it. However, I did knock off one star for a couple of different reasons. I did want more of that podcast element to the book. It's briefly touched upon now and then that her podcast is, you know, going up and like her listener count is rising and stuff. But I wanted more of her like recording the episodes and giving us a bit more of what the content was. And I've spoken to the author about it and I understand why she couldn't fit everything that she wanted to in because, I mean, the book is already quite chunky. It's just physically impossible to put everything in. However, I did feel like some parts were a little bit glossed over. The second reason is that I'm not going to do a major spoiler here. I'll just slightly hint towards who the love interest turns out to be is not who I particularly wanted. No. There are two more books in the series, so I know that she gets a bit of her happily ever after in a very normal reality kind of way but I'm wondering where the next two books are going to go. Her podcast has kind of like blown up nearing the end of this book. So she's going on like TV shows and radio stations. She's got like thousands and thousands of listeners. So she's going places, this Nell is. I did go to the bookshop the other day and I bought The Paris Apartment by Alicia Folly. I'm not normally one to like hardbacks. Let me know in the comments down below what your preference is. Do you prefer paperbacks or hardbacks? It's not out in paperback yet in the UK or in the shop that I went to, Sainsbury's. But I loved um, The Guest List by Lucy Folly. So I'm really looking forward to it. I know that I shouldn't have bought a new book considering I've got like House of Leaves, which is ginormous. I've got so many books unread on my bookshelf. It's a windowsill, not a bookshelf, but I don't have a bookshelf yet. However, I just know that I needed a book that I think I'm really going to enjoy. So I decided to get a copy of this so I can read it before everyone starts talking about it and I get FOMO. Lastly, this is something that I don't do a lot on my channel. I don't I'm not really one for self-promotion all that much, but I checked out my book sales yesterday and I haven't sold a copy of my novel for quite a while, which is a little bit disheartening. So I just wanted to do a little shout out for my book, The Pirouette Predator by Jade Lee Wright, available on Amazon in Australia, America, India, anywhere in Europe, you know, just it's cheap. It's a thriller with like a psychological twist. It's got like a bit of um, kind of like split. You know that movie with James McAvoy? It's got like that kind of element to it with a bit of that true crime. It's got a serial killer that's um, hunting down ballerinas in this small town. So if you're at all interested in something like that, buy a copy of my book. As I mentioned in, I don't know if it was one of my previous videos or earlier in this video, it's been quite some time that I've been doing this video now, that um, I am working with By The Brook, I need to get in contact with her actually, um, and pay for my cover of my latest book. So I, I am actively working on book three, but yeah, slowly getting back into a good space. I am back uh, working through my stuff as best I can. It is a funny time um, right now for me for many, many, many different reasons. Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday and that is, it's a tough day for me um, being alone with no family and uh, particularly no mum. Um, uh, yeah, my ex is uh, getting married soon and <laughs> so funny you know like the Australian government is hilarious basically over this is three years ago we applied for our partnership visa in Australia three years ago it got denied on St Patrick's Day this year I'm, I'm not even joking that is such a long and tedious process and the only thing I can think I mean I might be wrong but I think oh, that's my stomach I'm really hungry sorry the only thing I can think is that he is now getting all his marriage documents sorted and the government were like, oh, well, why do you have this uh, partnership visa with some girl overseas with you? So uh, I think that that was the final decision. So that obviously, it's, it doesn't really make me feel anything anymore, but it, it's not nice, you know? 
uh, coupled with some of the other stuff that's been going on that uh, some of you may or may not have seen. Um, yeah, I need to stop putting everything out there. Uh, but at the same time, over the years, people have told me that that's why they like my channel because it is, it is raw, it is real. I don't just give you the happy fluffy stuff in life. I do content and share the things that happen to me because I feel like that's something that people can relate to. So many people go through these kind of things. And if we, if we just talk about it and make each other feel understood, then that can only do good in, in my opinion. But anyway, I am rambling. Uh, I hope you're all well and thanks for sticking by me. Thank you to all of you who left comments in that previous video that's been taken down now. Um, it didn't go unnoticed. I did try to respond to every one of you uh, in a bit of a bitter way. I was not in a, a very good headspace, but as you can tell, I'm getting there. Feng shui my room. Um, the sun is coming out. It's the, the temperature's rising, although that's also a bit weird because like this week it's like 19 degrees and sunny and I'm outside in a, like a dress. Next week it's supposed to be snowing, which is I'm just like, what? <laughs> but yes, things are getting there. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.